Have you ever been eating a cheesesteak and wished that it had salmon instead of beef? Well, it sounds like you're in the mood for some fine fish sandwiches, so keep watching for the absolute best in the country. The fish fry is a major part of the Lenten season in Ohio, and an ideal place to hunker down is Bridgetown Finer Meats in Cincinnati. Located on its namesake road, Bridgetown comes off as very unassuming. It's a small one-stop deli for prime meats, fresh produce, and maybe some flowers and wine for a romantic dinner. But don't be fooled, as this is all a part of the all-American butcher's charm. Fitting its old-school vibe, Bridgetown offers a classic fish fry sandwich. It consists of rich, beer-battered haddock filet served in a generous portion, topped with lettuce, tomato, pickles, and your choice of bread. Be sure to order it with Bridgetown's tangy homemade jalapeno tartar sauce and maybe a side of their beloved mac and cheese. Do be careful, though, as the restaurant only offers its fish fry on Friday, so make sure to order early and come hungry. I want to stay hungry. They're not really trout. They're not really from the lake, and they're not even really from Maryland. But lake trout sandwiches nevertheless persist as a Baltimore staple. A proper lake trout sandwich is prepared by breading a large Atlantic whiting filet in cornmeal or cracker meal and flash frying it to a golden brown. Hungry customers are served a golden brown filet between two slabs of white bread that's often paired with a generous amount of hot sauce to add a sharp contrast to the otherwise mild flavor. And when it comes to lake trout sandwiches, it doesn't get much better than the one at Sal & Sons Seafood, located in Baltimore's historic Broadway Market. The place opts for a bar-like setup, where diners can enjoy a relaxed dining setting. This beloved Baltimore establishment is hardly a secret, as many locals happily come back for the fresh seafood and good prices, and, of course, the hip location. I'm hip. The Atlanta food scene is one of the most dynamic, cutting-edge, and flavorful in the country. At the Krog Street Market Food Hall, you can find a trendy take on a classic mall food court, where the blackened tuna sandwich from Fred's Meat and Bread is simply to die for. Fred's isn't trying to reinvent the wheel, as they take high-quality classic sandwiches and then add a slightly modern twist. There's magic to this method, as Fred's Meat and Bread has attracted many foodie fans and amassed well over 16,000 Instagram followers. Their much-raved-about catfish po'boy is unfortunately no longer on the menu, but their blackened salmon sandwich offers just as fishy a thrill. Served with avocado, red onion, and arugula, it's sure to hit your cravings when you want to feel old-fashioned and fancy. If you're still hankering for a fish po'boy, there's just about no better place than Louisiana. There are many good spots to enjoy this tried-and-true southern staple, but it would be a crime not to mention old-time grocery. Nestled 135 miles outside of New Orleans in the small city of Lafayette, Old Time Grocery is a small roadside joint with a large pole. This two-generation, family-run eatery delivers down-home charm with red and white checkered floors and walls that are dappled with license plates and children's drawings. Old Time is tiny but mighty, and it more than doubles its staff and production for Lent offering po'boys with different seafood fillings to throngs of new and old fans alike. When you're there, be sure to order a catfish po'boy. It doesn't get more Louisiana than that when a seasoned, fried, and buttery catfish is paired with Old Time's crunchy yet soft French bread. Beware, though, as Old Time Grocery offers its fried catfish only on Fridays. I love the tradition. This is a place with a lot of tradition. A lot of family, a lot of tradition. Tuna melts are undeniably in New York and a staple of American cuisine. While allegedly first concocted in Charleston, South Carolina, they've made it home for themselves as the ultimate comfort food in the Big Apple. And if you're looking in the city for a tuna melt that's a little off the beaten path, but whose deep green storefront is impossible to miss, then head to B&H Dairy Kosher Restaurant. This classic place opened in 1938 and it's one of New York City's oldest remaining kosher dairy lunch counters. Despite its classic interior and iconic storefront, its tuna melt looks like the sort of thing that could just as easily be served in a hipster cafe. It's served up with a smoked whitefish salad, pressed with gooey cheddar and between two fluffy slices of challah, which makes for an endlessly delicious melt. 
it's not hard to find good saltwater eats in Seattle. Pike Place Market in particular is a beacon for seafood connoisseurs. The so-called Soul of Seattle boasts a bold combination of food stalls that highlight the best of the city's vast culinary scene. Among the goodies here is the Market Grill, which opened back in 1996. Despite its enormous reputation, it maintains a surprisingly simple goal – deliver the best salmon sandwich that it can. It hones in on this through one key mantra – keep it wild, it being the salmon. Market Grill brings in fresh, wild-caught salmon daily and then serves it blackened with caramelized onions, romaine lettuce, tomatoes, and a slight twist with a rosemary mayo. Salmon has long been a staple of the Pacific Northwest, and perhaps the key to Market Grill's success is its tunnel-like focus on doing one thing and doing it well. For a quintessential bite of Seattle, look no further. Far outside the classic fish sandwiches is the District Fishwife's innovative salmon cheesesteak, which truly pushes things to a new level. Whoever said fish and cheese don't go together should stop by this place in the nation's capital. Founded in 2013 by Australian chef Fiona Lewis as a way of combating homesickness, the District Fishwife aims to deliver sustainable and creative bites. Located in Washington, D.C.'s famous Union Market, the District Fishwife is perhaps at its most controversial with its coastal reimagination of the iconic Philly cheesesteak. Towing the line between heavy and light, the salmon is grilled and paired with white provolone cheese in lieu of the typical orange cheddar goo that tops the traditional version. A light lime crema works to further bridge the pink fish to the cheese and create a delicate balancing act. A thick hoagie bun ensures that it all stays put, for the most part at least. No matter how much you change the ingredients, a cheesesteak is going to be a messy undertaking. But that's no reason not to dig into this innovative spin. He really was just saying, you know what, I could do that. <laughs> Minnesota might not be the first place that comes to mind when you think of seafood, but the land of 10,000 lakes certainly has its own unique freshwater dishes. A fried walleye sandwich, for example, is crucial to Minnesotan cuisine. It's prepared by first breading and then pan-frying in bubbling oil. The golden filet is then served on a loaf of French bread with lettuce, tomato, and a smattering of tartar sauce. It's not hard to find this regional sandwich when you're in the area but we recommend ordering one up at the Tavern on Grand. Located in the capital of St. Paul, this classic pub almost exclusively only serves up walleye. It's offered in a multitude of forms, battered in coconut, served up with some eggs, or even as a taco. And the go-to sandwich here is, of course, the walleye, which is served on ciabatta, grilled, blackened, or fried. Just as a rose by any other name is just as sweet, a walleye prepared in any particular way is just as yummy. Florida is a sunny land with no shortage of fresh catches. Among the countless fruits of the sea, grouper is a touchstone of Gulf Coast dishes that has claimed a space at many Florida barbecues and restaurants. It has a mild flavor and sweet taste, and it's often served blackened or grilled. A great place to enjoy this local delicacy is Siesta Key's Big Water Fish Market which is tucked away in a small shopping center on the southern half of the Key. Auspiciously opened on November 11, 2011, it's delighted diners with its no-frill casual dining ever since. This place actually only offers fresh catches and closes its doors whenever the catches of the day have sold out. As for the best of the menu, the OG sandwich is where this whole undertaking began. True to form, the OG can be ordered with your grouper either blackened or grilled, and is always served on a fluffy brioche roll. It's no secret that Maine is a seafood mecca. In a state where there's great food around every corner, Bet's Fish Fry is a surprising standout. Located just an hour north of Portland, in the sleepy maritime town of Booth Bay, you'll find a small shack with a mighty big reputation. Bet's is a small operation whose whimsically painted bright blue murals of fish and mermaids welcome visitors to the laid-back vibe. The menu focuses on delivering fresh catches and large portions. Well, this is a big one! When you make your way to Bet's, keep portions in mind, as a large sandwich contains about a pound of haddock. So make sure to come with a big appetite or somebody to share with. Unless, that is, you want to order only a half sandwich, though some say even that's enough to share. Whether alone or together, 
it's a real treat to take in the shack's bright blue picnic tables and lounge underneath the umbrellas as you chow down. Some 30 miles outside of Pittsburgh, in Leechburg, Pennsylvania, lies Snyder's Bonfire, a restaurant whose reputation precedes it. Serving a fish fry of behemoth proportions, around a pound per order, this sandwich is well worth the journey. What makes Snyder so good? Maybe it has something to do with those hefty portions. But it's certainly also the quality of their famous fish sandwich that really keeps devoted diners coming back. Family-owned and operated, the restaurant has offered hand-breaded cod at affordable prices for over 40 years. Setting it apart from other fried fish sandwiches, the Snyder is served with a bit of cheese and a homemade sweet pickle spread on a fresh loaf of bread. The warm atmosphere only adds to the charm. Wooden walls adorned with photos, flags, and other Americana, as well as large windows that overlook the road and invite patrons to come in and stay a little while. A compilation of the best fish sandwiches would simply be incomplete without mentioning San Diego's Supernatural Sandwiches, which was founded in 2012 with the idea that fresh seafood shouldn't be reserved for special occasions. Most dishes strive to combine elements of local seafood with fresh ingredients such as kimchi, bacon, and goat cheese, all of which are sourced from the San Diego area. The sandwiches are named after Greek mythology, with the siren and Neptune among their creations. But Supernatural doesn't need a gimmick to sell its sandwiches, as everything comes together in perfect harmony for truly stellar concoctions. One particular standout is the Nessie, which combines the catch of the day with a unique miso glaze. Supernatural is hardly a secret, so be prepared for lines that can go out the door, especially on the weekends. But the wait is well worth it to enjoy these sandwiches either inside under the restaurant's mural or under the bright San Diego sun. After all, all good things come to those who wait. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about the best foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.